So in the tutorial, we're going to be exploring your next portfolio item, where you'll be creating a computer game of your own using the game development environment called Twine. And your game is going to be a choose your own adventure text-based game. So it's not going to involve very much complex computer programming um, or creation of computer graphics and many of the other aspects associated with um, many computer game development processes, but it will enable you to explore some of the characteristics of play and of game development that we're going to be exploring next week and the week after as well, that will assist you in creating an effective educational computer game. Of course, the other key aspect is it's not just creating a game, it is a game that is going to support learning. So there are various affordances that we're going to explore next week that enable us to develop a computer game that assists with the learning process. Now, it brings in many of the concepts of play and gaming and learning that we've been talking about, but it also involves a number of other techniques which we'll explore in the coming week. Now, in the tutorial, what I would like you to do is to look at the activities I've asked you to do and share into Teams from the course notes. And we're then going to explore the concept of play in more detail and discuss the various characteristics of play that you've read about in the notes based upon your own experiences with play. Then we're going to look at learning and play and how the characteristics that Guy has exp um, explored, how they relate to the use of play-based techniques to support learning and how we can then extend that and use those techniques in games and computer games to support the learning process by making it more playful, but having those characteristics that Guy has identified that enable us to um, make it an effective learning experience. So explore those different characteristics of Guy. There's quite a few of them, 36 of them. So do a little bit of research into those um, and come to the tutorial prepared to discuss your understanding of those various aspects. And then finally, we'll talk more about gamification and how we can utilize these various aspects of um, play and of learning. Essentially, they're already incorporating elements that we would call gamification. Gamification is a label sort of given to the development of the use of games for purposes for which they're not intended. We are intending to use games for the purpose of education. So we're not um, really gamifying it. We're utilizing it explicitly for games. But it is a commonly used term. So we'll also explore some of the interpretations of gamification as it applies to education and game development and discuss that in the tutorial.